So where is this guy? There he is. Venice, what's wrong? Thank you for <clears throat> coming so quickly, champion. I've been consulting with Countess Hakruba of the Fighters Guild. Both of our guilds believe the time has come to take the fight to Cold Harbor. But this places us in a delicate political position. What's the problem? Trust, as always. The Alliance leaders will never agree to join forces. And if our guilds only work with one Alliance, the other two will see it as a betrayal. For both guilds, our neutrality is our strength. We can't afford to take sides. Is this... Uh, is the situation really that dire? The war in Cyrodiil <clears throat> has been long and bloody. And all three alliances are spread thinly. They can't commit resources to an assault on Cold Harbor without making themselves vulnerable. I want to bring all three leaders together. Maybe cut a deal. So what do you need from me then? You're in a unique position. You can speak with authority, but you're not an alliance leader. You're respected. You have a reputation. They may let you get a word in before they leap at each other's throats. In short, you're the perfect diplomat. Apparently, I'm a politician now. You want me to speak with the alliance leaders? I found the perfect meeting place. A neutral location far from disputed territories. An island called Sturk. I can get you an audience with each leader and provide magical transportation. You just need to convince them to travel to Sturk. That's a weird name, Sturk. I'll do my best. That's all I ask. I'll open the portal. I think it's best that I travel with you and make introductions as a neutral party. That might make things easier. All right, might maybe. Uh, portal to Alliance Capital. Alliance Capital. Our Mournhold. This is Evanhard Pack territory, isn't it? Let me see, where are we? Mournhold, Deshaun. Yeah. This is uh, Evanhard Pack side. This <clears throat> is Skull King. And the armages will cut you down where you stand. Yeah. And shatter you. Any questions? I didn't think so. Silence, Thrush. Master Galarian, please continue. My companion hopes to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor crisis. I have heard tales of this one. The Skull King favors the bold, even among his enemies. Come, champion, let us speak. The Skull King values the bald? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I'm all spitting all over the place. Execution since you came all this way, but choose your words carefully. I'm not a patient king. Okay, so this is cool. Uh, thank you for speaking, to me, honored Scald King. Yes, well, I am both suspicious and curious. If you are an assassin, though, get on with it. But remember this: you're coming to Sovngarde with me. You don't fear death. To fear death is to fear life. I am Nord. When my time comes, I will embrace it. Sovngarde will be glorious. No meetings, no schemes. But you're not here to talk philosophy. What do you want? It's time to take the offensive against Molag Ball. Who? The three alliances? Has magical travel rattled your brain? Speak plainly. What do you ask of me? I propose a moot, a meeting of all three alliance, uh, alliance leaders on the island of Sturk. Where the old flag's army was born. Uh, if the other leaders agree, I will attend. If nothing else, it should make a good story. Now leave me before my dinner gets cold. Goodbye. You can like sheathe your hand now, lady. That went well, I think. Shall we move on? Where to next? Eldenwood. <coughs> we Aldermary Dominion. Have somewhat warmer reception there, as I have known Queen Iren for quite some time. That being said, I expect that she'll be accompanied by heavily armed guards. Iren is friendly, but not foolish. So, I've seen Iren quite a few times, obviously. I think she looks freaking awesome. So, then let's get going. 
Are you gonna open up a portal or what? Oh, there's a door. Oh, it's not a door, it's a portal. So, Alliance Capital. Elden Root. Probably the coolest place in Tamriel in terms of ESO. Maybe I'm biased though because I like the Wood Elves a lot. Greatly esteemed Queen Irene Arana Aldmeri. That's it a long name. Great honor to present to you. Vanus, you're so formal. I remember the patience and kindness you showed an awkward, freckled waif all those years ago on Fair Somerset. You captured this child's heart then, and it remains with you to this day. Aww. You warm an old man's heart, my queen. I remember well those halcyon days. As do I, my old friend. Sorry about all these guards. I'm told they're necessary. These are dark days. A wise precaution, my queen. My counsel would be no different. If you'll permit it, my companion would like to speak with you. Ah, yes. Let me meet this hero I've heard so much about. If not often the heroic deeds of one who by all rights should be considered a mortal enemy reach my ears. Come, let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. Hi, Queen Arryn. Vanus is a dear man. In many ways, he is family to me. Since he has given you his trust, I'm willing to set aside our differences. But under different circumstances, you and I would be sworn enemies. Because of Daggerfall Covenant, maybe? <laughs> uh, my sworn enemy is more like Ball, your ma- uh... Your Majesty. Well spoken and point taken. <clears throat> to be perfectly honest, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to meet you. Your exploits are legendary. You heard of me? A true champion is like a stone cast upon the waters of history. The ripples it creates travel far and wide. I'm humbled, Your Majesty. Humility is a no. I just did. God damn it, dude! They're just copying me. strong and self-assured. A true champion is also history's pawn, and history is a cruel and unfeeling master. But enough philosophy. What did you wish to speak with me about? This is two leaders that want to talk philosophy with me. One of them about the afterlife, and this one about historical, the historical aspects. That's pretty, pretty awesome. I wonder what the Daggerfall Covenant leader will say. I've come to propose a meeting on Island of Sturk to discuss an assault on Cold, uh, Cold Harbor. And you need all three of the Alliance leaders to attend this meeting. A bold suggestion. I like it. Very well. I make no promises with regards to the negotiations themselves, but I will attend. That much, I promise. That's... This is working out well. Thank you, Your Majesty. Does she not look freaking awesome? Like, everything about her... Let's look at her armor from the back. Her armor looks sick. I'm not too fond of the helmet though. Well, wrong thing, right there. But she looks she looks awesome, dude. She looks pretty and I didn't like, think it possible. Well done. We must return and begin the preparations. Alright, let's go. We have much to do. Come. Yeah, she looks very like powerful, you know, as a female, and it's it's awesome. All right, Daggerfall Covenant, it is. Stormhaven. I feel like we've been here not that long ago. Oh, we're in the Fighters Guild. Cities are as alive, fickle, and uncertain. Yes, yes, Bastion. Leaders have agreed to join us on Sturk. Now comes the tricky part. Wait, when did we meet with the leader of Daggerfall Covenant? I don't remember meeting with them. That wasn't the tricky part? Individually, the leaders are rational, even reasonable. But get them together and... Well, you'll see soon enough. Alright. Everything's been prepared. Are you ready to travel to the summit? Absolutely not. Just kidding, yes, let's go. Then, with your permission, I'll open the portal to Sturk. May Oriel's hand guide us all. Okay, open the portal there. The word has been given. A moment, please. Wait of the three crowns. I'll wait for you on the other side. Portal to Sturk. Oh, this is cool. Oh, representative Captain Alfari is in charge of I kind of want something like this. Oh, wait, hold on. 
Welcome to the <coughs> island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just up ahead, through the ruins. Have the alliance leaders arrived? I'm told they'll be arriving at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. Perhaps you can help them see the wisdom in cooperation. Yeah, I mean, I'll do my best. I promise you that. I don't envy you the task. We've already assembled quite a team of experts for the Cold Harbor invasion itself. I'll try to introduce you to some of them on the way to the meeting. Lead on. Toodles. So this is the leader of the Fighters Guild and the leader of the... Reaching a compromise will be no small task, I promise you. Okay, if you say so. So where are these leaders? This is the Mages Guild tents. It's Lady Laurent. Who? Oh. Careful with that, you clumsy Please, don't, don't distract me. I don't finish packing. Lady Laurent will give me quite the talking to. Sorry. Lady Laurent. That is Galarian as I live and breathe. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slode. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Bald's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. <laughs> haven't you finished tying those bags yet? Oh, you really are hopeless. She's Farewell, such a lady. toxic person. We're expected at the summit. So, kind of a spoiler, but not really. There's a ton of missions with these people, with Stibbins and Letty Laurent. Uh... I don't know the story behind their missions. I just know that it always ends in something stupid. And it's it's awesome. I can't wait. It's going to be in the far future. But I can't wait to get to those, you know, missions. Those uh, quests. Because they seem pretty fun. Wonderful. In terms of story. Tellinger. Tellinger. The artificer himself. Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanus. Your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what uh, fish pit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by, won't you? I don't have the time or the energy, Tellinger, so I'll bid you good day. Why would we even initiate a conversation if they don't like each other? But Tellinger's armor looked pretty cool. Captain in charge of security, Alfari is over there. Okay. Captain in charge of security, Alfari is over there. I I heard you the first time there, bud. All right. Has the island been secured? Aye. All ships in the area have been diverted away from the island, and the wards are in place. And the alliance leaders? They'll be here any moment. You three should get over there as soon as you can. We're on our way. Thank you, Captain. We must make haste. Yes, Countess. Count... How do you say that word? Countess. Yeah, Countess. Yeah, I was right. Okay, so go to the summit point. Everything about this island looks cool. Hi, King Emmerich. All three flags. There's King Emmerich. He is my favorite looking character in this game. Gorgeous. <laughs> You're in Skull King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Bal commands. I will True. not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. 
Please, my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. Uh oh. What a mess. Apologies, Vanus, but I'm going to check on my lion guard. That conversation went south real quick. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. How can we make them see reason? Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. What if the guilds can lead the attack? But only if all three leaders agree. <clears throat> An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Why don't you visit each of them in their camps? See if you can reason with them individually. Sounds like a plan. Let's go with the... Well, since this is our faction, the Ebonheart Pact. I mean, the uh, uh, Daggerfall Covenant. We're going to start with the Ebonheart Pact, go to the Aldermary Dominion, and then end with our faction and see how that... How conversations go. Wait, hold on. Oh, I was supposed to talk to the other person first, huh? Hey. Hi, Countess. Tractable fools. Their pride will see us all dead. Is the Fighters Guild any different? We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Ball's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Would the Fighters Guild be willing to invade Cold Harbor? Willing and able. But, like the Mages Guild, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The Alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. Unless all three Alliance leaders consent to it, our hands are bound. So that's why we need the convincing. Because they have a non-interference pact that we have to get the leaders to make an exception for. Alright, back to the Ebonheart Pact. Yurn, Yurn, uh, whatever, the Skull King. Save your breath. I will not be swayed by Emmerich's lapdog. I have nothing to... I mean, I am technically a part of the uh, uh, the uh, Daggerfall Covenant, but still. We need to cooperate, my friend. But what about the war in Cyrodiil? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. If we send guild... Uh, what if we send guilds... Uh, the guilds to the... To, uh, what if we send the guilds to Cold Harbor? <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedric Hordes. Without the Evanheart Pact, they do not stand a chance. So we can either intimidate, which... Do you want history to remember you as the king who suffered... Uh, who surrendered to Molag Ball? Or, I don't see any other options. S looking at him and hearing him talk, I think he would be... A man who would respect another strong man. So I'm going to go with Intimidate. Oddly enough. Do you want history to remember you as the king who surrendered to Molag Ball? How dare you. I should kill you where you stand. Uh oh. <laughs> history will remember the Skull King as the bane of Molag Ball. Oh, it worked. I will support your foolish plan. Now get out of my sight. Okay, it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go, but it worked. So, there's that. Now we're going to go talk to the leader of the Aldermary Dominion. My favorite female character in this game. Your king needs to stop talking out of the side of his mouth. He has a lot of Dominion blood on his hands. We're not going to easily forget that, and we're certainly not going to fight by his side in Cold Harbor. There is an alternative. Gosh, she looks cool. What did you have in mind? We could send the guilds into Cold Harbor. Hmm, perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. It's true. So we could either persuade and say, I've been there. A small... Oh yeah, when we got kidnapped, of course. So it's like, I've been there. A small team of fighters and mages might accomplish more than a lumbering army. Or, I don't see any other options. I'm just going to go with Persuade. It worked last time, so maybe a speech check here would work too. Well, it's certainly not what they'll be expecting. Very well, I'll agree, if you can convince the others. Nice! I guess we just got King Emmerich. God, I love King Emmerich too. 
All three of them look dope, though. I'm not gonna lie. This meeting feels like two wolves and a sheep discussing what to have for dinner. I will not sit back and let them pick up my bones. I have a suggestion. That's more than I'm getting from them. He's not scratching his head. You suggest? Uh, send in the guilds instead of the armies into Cold Harbor. I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few. And Molag Baal's followers are legion. Well, tell me this, King. Do we have a choice? I don't see any other options. You guys can't even get together. The guilds is our only hope. I'll agree, provided you can convince the Barbarian and the Child Queen. I don't envy you the task. They're more pig-headed than I am. I mean, I kind of went there first, so... It already worked. So, talk to Vanis? Sounds like a plan to me. Everyone apparently agreed. Any luck? Or are they still at an impasse? Nope, no more impasse anymore. I have managed to successfully convince them to send in the guilds. But they're considering the idea. But they're not convinced. What? I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. They don't trust each other. That's the problem. With very good reason. But the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. A storm? Venice. What's wrong? I have an ill feeling about this. He, what? He has arrived. I can't. Kaldian! What happened? What's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! Uh oh! These are the great <gasps> leaders of Tamriel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient have them gathered together in one place. Oh! I can crush them like insects. No, not at all. Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back. How amusing! And yet, so very sad. Close the rifts? Oh, they're attacking! Okay, we got underestimating you was their last mistake. That's it, right? That's all we gotta do? Oh, there's they're attacking all three separately. Okay, we're gonna go left now. Oh my god, that guy is huge. Let's go. Oh, what's going on? I got no stamina. Uh, luckily, we already won. Close the rift. Oh, if this is definitely going to help get them together, at least for this plan. Now that they were all simultaneously being attacked. Get out of here. Don't tell me what to do. I gotta go ham on here because I got no stamina. Alright. Not bad. Oh wait, I forgot to close the rift. Kinda sorta need to do that, don't I? Oh, Molag Ball, you really thought you could destroy these armies? Talk to Vanis Galarian. Oh look, they're all, they're all getting together again. I thought we were safe here. Hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Then we must act quickly. Agreed. There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. To him? We're doing this now. Can you open a portal to the Cold Harbor? Yes. At the alien well at the center of the island. Perhaps this attack will convince the leaders to cooperate. That's what I'm thinking too. After that terrible display of power... I don't think they have much choice. 
I don't think they have any choice, to be honest. It's either that or they actually go on a full-scale invasion of Cold Harbor. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy. Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mages Guild and the Fighters Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor. Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessing. We will not let you down. Manos is right. The guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Cold Harbor. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emery. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Hakruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Stark interior. The champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has oh, snap. Come, champion. We're Let's go. We're doing this now. I want this I really want this place to be the guild hall. That this place would be perfect for a guild hall. For mine, seen as my guild if you guys didn't know, it's called Tamriel Armistice. And uh, we're growing quickly. We already have 94, uh, I almost said characters. And I'm working on hiring a vendor right now, so. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty interesting. If you guys wanna know how to join, uh, follow on Discord. Link to Discord is on the, on the, Description down below be able to get a hold of me directly that way and I can send you an invite to the guild We're as ready as we shall ever be Is is this everyone? Unfortunately, yes, it's not the massive army we'd hoped for but now that Molag Ball knows we're coming a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected Then let's go for it it's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. Will do. Oh, snap. We're going to Cold Harbor. This looks like a portal to Cold Harbor. Take portal to Cold Harbor. Yep. It's, it's definitely happening right now. That is an awesome picture. That's the Covenant... Uh... Picture. Hey! Cadwell. Oh, I missed the first. Hold on. Survive then, have you? Johnny good. Johnny good. Where is everyone? Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody Just my luck. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molog Ball's defenses. Nasty beasties abound. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Well, all right. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. I love Cadwell. He's so cool. You convinced the leaders uh, to attack Cold Harbor. So, what's across the bridge? What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the <laughs> Hollow City. The Hollow City, you say? Dreadfully dull place, and a real eyesore, if you ask me, but I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. <laughs> quest. Quest. <laughs> I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Right. I'll head to this hollow city, then. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. Where am I, exactly? Welcome to the beautiful gardens of Cold Harbor. Do have a look around. Lovely day for it. Soak up the ambiance, the grandeur, the wonder of it all. Tell me about yourself, Sir Cadwell. I have the honest feeling we've discussed this before, or did I already mention it? No matter. I we did. Sir Cadwell, the undaunted Knight of the Court of Cold Harbor, champion of chivalry, defender of the defenseless, shepherd to the soul shriven. That's a lot. Of names. What are you talking about? Uh, am 
I not speaking the common tongue of Nern? I was once fluent, but time does get on, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot the question, though I'm quite sure I already answered it. You really should pay more attention. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dumb. Uh, you mentioned the bridge. Did I? I don't recall that, but there is a bridge just ahead. Leads to the city, rather a drab, empty place at present, but a little paint, a potted plant or two. And honestly, it's not as if you've got a lot of choices right now, so off you go. Are you insane? Sane? That's in the north, isn't it? I don't believe I had the pleasure of <laughs> he, thinks, <laughs> he thinks sane is a place. Oh my god, okay. Cadwell, I love you, buddy. So he said... that. Wait, hold on, let me look at the map. Okay. So it looks like... It's potentially cut into three different sections. And then this is the hollow city. There's vendors and everything. Okay, let's go. Uh oh. Actually, let's fight him. I want to know what kind of. Uh... I can't see. Dunzo. Okay, so glad to know that they're not that tough. Although, I do want to check what's over here. I didn't even need to do that, but... Sheath your weapons. The battle is won. Is there anything at all over here? Uh-oh. And here I was thinking he was dead. Definitely didn't have any stamina for that. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go for... Stamina regen. Cadwell's hovel. Oh, this is where Cad Cadwell lives. Nice. Nice little uh, place you got here, Cadwell. You got a blue little chicken. A Daedric chicken, apparently. Alright. Doesn't look like there's anything at all, so let's go ahead and go to... The Hollow City. This place looks fantastic, by the way. Uh... Who was that? It said the groundskeeper. Okay, let's go.